horse face? Horse face. Horse face. A president who almost never backs down, standing by his attack on the appearance of porn star Stormy Daniels. Great, now I can go after horse face and her third rate lawyer. I'm done, I'm done being bullied. Now she's tweeting, game on, tiny. It's a sad day in America when the president of the United States calls a woman a horse face. I mean, this guy can no longer be permitted to get away with this. He says, great, now I can go after horse face and her third rate lawyer in the great state of Texas. She will confirm the letter she signed, the non-disclosure agreement. She knows nothing about me, a total con. I don't care if you're on the right, the left, or the center. No man should call a woman a horse face. Evanati is a partisan hack who's just become completely addicted to TV like a drug. CNN put him on their network 74 times in recent weeks. He is now that network's most ubiquitous guest in its history. That speaks volumes about CNN's priorities. What Vladimir Putin and Russia did to this country in connection with the 2016 election is no different than if they would have placed 100,000 troops on our border. This was an invasion. It was an electronic invasion. So if Russia had 100,000 troops on our border, I mean, that would be an act of war, a profound provocation. What would be the rational response to that if you really felt the threat was that profound? If you were president, how would you respond to that? Well, Tucker, I understood that I was coming on your show tonight to talk about the case uh, involving my client. In future, you're, the, you're the protector of Stormy Daniels. Stormy Daniels is right now working in strip clubs and little towns on stage. People are throwing things at her. You're wearing a thousand dollar suit. Why is you, why are you not paying her? You've profited from Stormy Daniels. You've done tens of millions of dollars with the free media on the basis of your relationship with her, and she's working in strip clubs. You're exploiting her. You're planning a new career as a politician, and like so many lawyers, you are taking advantage of her. And you pose as a feminist hero because you are shameless, and the other channels let you get away with it, but you're an exploiter of a woman, and you should be ashamed of it. You threatened the Daily Caller reporters with a defamation suit. How is that appropriate for anybody thinking about running for office? Well, if, if a journalist, quote, unquote, and look, I don't believe the Daily Caller's uh, individuals are journalists by any stretch of the imagination. Stormy Daniels says she needs at least $850,000 to cover her legal expenses, which, of course, consists mostly of retaining the creepy porn lawyer. Don't be fooled if you encounter the creepy porn lawyer holding up a Bible in your living room or leading a gospel choir in your backyard. Stand back, don't give him money, or try and toss him morsels of stale bread. Escape. You're going to have her pay the, the legal fees? In fact, he has to pay me legal fees. I've, he does? She I don't does? think he has any money, <laughs> but he and she have to pay me a lot of legal fees, and it's based, on, hold Texas, them accountable for that? based on Texas law. I love Texas. Based on Texas law, where the legal fees are nice and plentiful. Uh -huh. I, and you'll hold them to that? Are you are you serious? Of course. I'm just asking. Wouldn't you be disappointed if I said, no, no, they'll pay a lot. <laughs>